Nick and I are looking for reptiles. We're here in Spain for just six days to see how many different species we can find. Amphibians, lizards and snakes. We've just driven three hours west from Madrid to Extremadura. Most visitors come to this region to bird watch and walk in the Monfrog National Park. This is our route. We don't really have to stray far from the road though, and it's me who spots something first. Nick, Nick, quick, look on the road. He's not happy. He's not happy. <laughs> He's not impressed at the moment. He's making that. It's non poisonous, this one. Mm -hmm. Hence why Nick's not dead, even though he's been bitten on his finger. You're going to take risks, you know, you don't risk that much when you're going to get bitten. What's it called again? Ladder snake. Ladder snake. Because it's got the marks going up, looking like a ladder, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, they? and then the young there, they're, they're joined together. These what, the actual lines are joined together? Yeah, I mean, well, there's li lines in between it. Yeah. It looks like a ladder. Bars coming. Do you think she's chilled now a bit there? She's all right, you know? What will she lunge off to think in a minute? Or she'd make a sub movement, and that's when I make a movement to go as well. But the ladder snake soon mellows out in Nick's hands, so we're able to study its amazing markings. I know it's a ladder snake, mate. But should it be going out that tree? Oh yeah, they sometimes go up trees, they eat birds occasionally. Oh! And there's the first snake of the drift! Look, now I've got a waterproof watch, so I won't be completely starters. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think's under there, mate? Uh, little fibrine snake. Yeah? You got him? Wow, he's coming up. He's coming out now. Oh wow, wow! Right. He's a... yes, these are these are related to the English grass snakes. You can tell you go if you well. I don't know if you've ever seen an English grass snake close up. They've got round pupils, and what gives them their uh, name? These snakes, the viperine snake, is the it's the zigzag on the back. But also, what's a bit more distinctive is the fact that they've got these little white. Slightly, you can hardly see it really on this one, but little little dots as you go along the side. Right. And how long would he have uh, stayed in there, mate, if uh, you hadn't ever fished him out Fetching underneath out. that rock? Half an hour, maybe. Bit of a slippery character, he wants to get away, obviously. He wants to get away, he's not sure about all this. Oop, silly. Yeah, nice little snake, there's the end of the shot there. Let's have a look then. Are you happy, for, are you happy with that one, Nick? Uh, quite, yeah, 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 it's pretty good. Steak species, live, number two. Yes! It's the start of day two, Nick's birthday, and we've got wildlife right outside our windows. But we're off as well to find some reptiles. So watch out, ladies, we're back by the river. It's a hunting area, and that's what we're up to. You know what they say about a lizard in the hand being worth two in the bush? Good I found. Male tribe is what a beauty. Look at the colour of that blue on the head. Absolutely superb, isn't it? Amazing, mate. What's this? That's a male tribe lizard. You can see a few bits of uh, dry skin on his feet where he's uh, hasn't quite shed completely. Wow. He's uh, they, they come from quite humid environments, down by streams and near yeah. dams and things like that. A little bit more. They like prefer more humidity than uh, the other similar sized lizards. His head's amazing, it's just so like bright blue in it. It's like well, that, that's breeding colours. This is the time of year when they, they're displaying for the females. So he's in his full colours now. And if you think about it, this is the time of year when all the grass is green, the flowers are bright, yeah. everything's bright. Yeah. You've got to attract attention now. Right. The heavy green on, on the back, yeah. that'll fade later on in the year. Right. Because as the vegetation dies off, everything comes yellower. And so it'll become slightly browner. He'll lose that wow in the face sort of colour. So th this lizard's really still wearing 70s eyeshadow, basically, is it? It's, it's well, yeah, I, think it, I think it will catch on again. <laughs> Do you think so? I yeah, think so. It's going to come back in. Absolutely. Wow, what a lizard and a half.
There's a lot of traffic on the road today. Oh, what's in the bag then, mate? Uh, well, we just, just caught another five ring snake. Rather nice birthday present. Oh, wicked. Here she is. Oh, day two. Look at this. Oh, smart. Right, it's just, it's eating the meal. I was a bit concerned. I was trying to photograph it and I yeah. couldn't quite get close enough to photograph it. Yeah, but yeah. As you can see, she's got quite a big bulge in her. She's hissing at the moment. She's, yeah, she's, yeah, that's she's, it. She's, she's not that she's impressed. She's overly impressed because she no. feels very vulnerable now with this yeah. mum in her. Yeah. But, um, Again, you can see a sort of zigzag mark down the back. She's a very red specimen. Oh, look, look, you can see the bits sticking out here. That, whether or not that's a, an arm of a frog or something. Oh, she's eating then? Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I'm oh, worried about. Oh yeah, well, look. It looks like she might have had two meals. What she's I'm had two meals. What I'm worried about is disturbing her so much that she regurgitates it. So we, we've got to be quick here. Right, okay. I, I got the feeling it's she rather than a he. Right. It's just a bit of a slightly heavier body snake. Right. I haven't examined her closely. So there, you've got, you've got your zigzag. Is that why she's probably resting up there, because she's eating? That's right. She'll be out of the water, taking it easy for a few days, trying to line her sun as much as possible. Yeah. And uh, digest away. What, so that actually helps the digestion pro pro process? That's right, that's it. That speeds it all up. Right. Not quite so... Oh. I think we'd better go looking for something else. Right, look at his little webbed feet. Oh, he's really ready to go. Whoa, he could win the Terrapin Olympics at that rate. Whee! Woo, look at him go, woo! Well, you have to wash your underpants sometimes, but... day three and we've pulled off the road to check out a pond in a disused quarry. What's that there all wriggling around there mate? Uh, that's bloodworms, uh, tube effects, they're hatching to little flies. Is that what the uh, frogs are eating those? Yeah, yeah, and look what else I found here as well. This is a little water scorpion. Excellent. It's wild, isn't he? Whoa, steady. Hey, a little baby one. That's got to be only a year old. He's a beanie baby of the turtle world, mate. Yep. Excellent. First turtle, or terrapin, actually. That's right. He's an amphibian. No, he's not. He's a reptile. Is he? Definitely a reptile. Yeah, look at him. All those scales on him. Of course, he's a Newcastle United supporter with a black and white scarf around his neck, or maybe it's orange and white. Hang on, he might not have heard of Newcastle United. That's one of the Spanish teams. Real Madrid. Ah, oh, now you think it's Real Madrid? Yeah, because it could be red and black. I don't know, what's Barcelona? Barcelona. Yeah, it could be Barcelona, actually. European Storks. 
predators of frogs, fish, snakes. They have a job eating terrapins there. I split up. He's down by the river while I follow the path above. Suddenly we both spot a fox moving towards us. What a stunning creature and she's not shy. She passes within a meter of Nick. Judging from her bold behaviour and the way she's circling around us, I think she must have a den with some young nearby and she's keen to put us off their scent. marsh frog by those things. Lovely. Oh, excellent. One of last year's. Yeah. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe one of this size. I don't know how. Big. No, it must be last year's because we still seem to have holes of this year's already. Got an excellent sort of green stripe straight down the middle. That's it from back there. Lovely. Lovely. This of course is, is what all the nice little terrapins, the little viperine snakes, the yeah. storks, everything you name it we'd be eating this. Well, we've seen a lot in day three. It's not all getting a bit too much for you, goat. No, just having the old siesta, like the Spanish people do themselves. Excellent idea. Yeah. Mañana. Mañana, mañana. Mm. Just pulled in off the road and Nick's checking out some potential habitats. Right, I've just found a little amphis bainid. It's a type of reptile. It looks uh, like a worm really and it actually feeds on ants and termites. They're virtually blind. I think they can tell the difference between light and dark. They've got very small eyes. Uh, it's not really known if they're lizards or snakes, they're a sort of intermediate state, but it's unusual to find them at this time. 